Record. These peas really smell fresh. Free shoes. Do you have any blueberry ones? Sir, we don't have any bagels here. It's a shoe store. All right, well, do you have any poppy seed ones? Sir, this is Rocco's shoe store. My brother, cousin, Rocco's bagels next door. They sell bagels. Okay, well, do you have any everything bagels? Actually, you know, I have like eight left. Eight? Yeah, you want All right, I'll have those eight and uh, a pair of Adidas. Adidas, not a good choice, good choice. Good choice. That'll be about 300 bucks. 300 bucks? 300 dollars? Yeah. We have a sale on it. That sounds so, reasonable. Yeah, so. Yeah, perfect. Have a good day, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, good day, sir. Hey, I'm here to put on my shoes. Oh, your name is? Jessica. You know what, you're friendly face. I usually check ID, but I know who you are. Never forget a face like that. It's already paid for, you're all set. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. You're a nice guy. What the hell? Hi. Hey. Is your name Jessica? Yeah, it is. How'd you know? Uh, just a hunch. Uh, I think these are for you. Thanks. I promise your helps. Man, that's racist. Why is that racist? All right, tell the story again, word for word. Okay, so I'm walking down the street in Boston, right? And I'm just minding my own business, not a care in the world. Shit. You wanna go again? Rackin'. So I'm walking down the street, and this guy looks like he's begging for money, but he's holding a sketchy white binder. And everyone that passes this guy is completely ignoring him. But I'm not from the city, I have a lot more trust in people, so when he calls out to me... <laughs> I was right in the camera. Oh, you did? Yeah. So I'm walking down the street, and this guy, looks like he's begging for money, but he's holding off this sketchy white binder. And everyone that passes this guy is just completely ignoring him. But, you know, I'm not from the city, I have a lot more trust in people. I go right up to him, and the first thing he says is, Don't beat me up, I'm a nice guy. Which is a little weird, but you know, I kept going with the conversation. Then he shakes my hand, and mid handshake, as we're holding hands, he says, My name is Joseph, and I am HIV positive. This black guy shook my Wait, hand. Wait, stop. What? Wait a second. Why? Why do you feel the need to mention he's a black man? To mention he's a black man, like halfway through the story, it's like what you're building towards. No, it was what I was building towards, okay? I happen to make an acute observation this man is African American. If he was white, would you have said the same thing? Probably not, because I'm also white. Would two black guys say to each other? I don't think so. I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is a repressed memory in childhood of being fondled by a black man. What? What the? <laughs> Go again. Damn.
<laughs> Clearly tell us something. <laughs> That's good. Alright, let's do it. Like <laughs> Having a great time. Uh, Don't look at the camera. I wasn't looking at the camera. Ah. <laughs> Be doing right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, maybe you should cook. Is that it? Yeah. Right. Game on. That's a wrap. Okay. That's a wrap, folks. Not your name. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? That was like so out of left field, I can't even... <laughs> Why are you those faces at me? Right. That was like so out of left field, I can't stop doing this. <laughs> <that. laughs> that was like so out of left field, I can't... That's not even the point of the story. You see, what if I had a cut on my hand? And what if this man had a cut on his hand? And our hands touched, and suddenly my day is ruined because I'm HIV positive. Listen man, you're a hypochondriac. You got issues. You need to solve them, and I'm not serious. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hit me? I got him slapped on face! Yes! I'll see you guys later. <laughs> the shit? That was like so out of left field, and it's not even the point of the story. You're not listening to me, okay? Say I had a cut, and say this man had a cut, and our hands touched together, and suddenly my day is ruined because I'm HIV positive. Listen, man, you're a hypochondriac. It's a big issue. You got serious problems, I don't want to get into it. Okay. Other than that, how was the rest of your day? You know, it was pretty good. Uh, I did some shopping, you know, walked around the city. It was, it was a good weekend. Glad to hear it. Good. These peas really smell fresh.